Dad, look, I'm you, okay? From the future. Do they not have Dennis in the future? Wow. Yeah, you know what, you're right, okay? You made your point. Our point. Wait! <laughs> so you're not gonna leave me here, guys. Are you freaking kidding me? What the hell? Shut up! I'm worried. I'm... Oh, I'm trying to be... I'm trying to be smart about this, but I'm really worried. Maybe this, this place is crazy. These, these people are crazy. Okay, you're overreacting. No, there's things happening out here at night when you guys are asleep and you don't see them, but I do. All right. Like what? I saw. Look, I swear to God, I. I saw a naked person. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I. Hmm. Anyway, hey, before she gets back, do you have change for a Honda? Like 10 tens, 520 a thousand dimes. <laughs> Anything will help. No. No? All right, sorry. I'll figure it out. <sighs> I discovered a little secret. Maybe you'd like to tell her what I found in the room just off the foyer? Which room off the foyer? Oh, I think you know which room. And you know what's in it. There's your angle. Goat. No. Give it one more try. I think it's the goat. It is the car. I don't understand. You can ride the horse, the car, the dog, but you cannot ride the goat. You can ride a dog? If the dog is big enough and the person small enough. But you cannot ride a goat? Ride a goat. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Way overreacting? Let's see. You dump me for a child, you squander 10 G's in Charlie, you tell me you love me, and then you rob me, and now you're back like, hey, nothing's happened? Fuck, the child is my kid brother, all right? And I left because I owed you money. You and I, it was just about the heroin. You know that. No, I did not know that. Get the fuck out of here. We litigate. It's your turn, Miss Lynch. So instead of persisting in the regular mundane legal work, uh, we decided to take an adventure. And it's been quite exciting. I could tell you a story about... The... I'm sure you could, Mr. Taylor. But if you don't mind, some of the rest of us may like to be a part of the conversation. Miss Lynch, my most sincere apologies. I didn't realize that I was monopolizing the conversation. Certainly that was not my intention. I... In the future, I will be certain and most cautious not to make the same grievous uh, social error as that would be... Mr. Taylor, <clears throat> you are doing it again. Honestly, you could talk the hind leg off a mule. 